Yo, 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 viewers, what's up? Oh man, this isn't the credits to Resident Evil 4. What? Killed him? What the heck? I thought you were going to be doing Resident Evil 4. And you know, honestly, I thought I was going to be too. But then I just decided for kicks and giggles, why don't I try to get this up and running? And lo and behold, it started working. So yeah, we're going to continue on with The Walking Dead. Because I said I was going to do it. I want to do it. I actually do want to do it. I'm not sure I'm, how I'm going to do commentary for it, but we'll figure something out. For now, this is The Walking Dead, and I know Spitter Mickey is probably ecstatic because I got this working. I'm going to be doing an LP. I don't know how to fix my mouse, so you're going to have to deal with all this random crap. But, you know, it's the sacrifices we have to make, viewers. Because this is not a game that I feel is good for doing LPing, but rather it's funner to just play it yourself. Regardless... I'm going to be doing standard because, God help me, I'm going to need all the help I can get. This is, this is, it's not a hard game, but I'm going into it blind. I just want you to know that. And also, I should probably mention, I have not seen any of the series for The Walking Dead, nor have I read the comics, which I hear this game is actually based on, rather than the TV series. I pretty much know very little about The Walking Dead, other than it's kind of a zombie apocalypse situation. You know, people are trying to survive through it, trying to survive zombie encounters. I'm just going to be quiet when people start talking, but, you know, they're not talking right now. This is episode one, a new day. We're getting into it. We're going to be driving in a car. Well, not really driving so much as sitting in the back seat, arrested with handcuffs in the back of a police car. Play this guy. Don't know his name yet. Police officer. He's going to talk. A second. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. And we got choices there are times, so I gotta I'm just gonna answer what I think hmm. is, you know, right or how I feel. Kinda no, like in Catherine. Definitely not. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the I didn't do it. Every time? Every time. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. You've got an opinion then? Wouldn't say that. I go in for that innocent till proven guilty thing. Even considering who they say you killed. Any of that seem important to you? All of it, but that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You wanna know how I see it? Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. <sighs> You'll have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control. driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella. Big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're all sitting. Officers are available for incoming to one... Then before long he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's gotta stop. That's government property and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. 
So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. Fucking try! This other time... <laughs> Cool at all. We just got messed up. We fell off a steep hill into God knows where. Looks like there's zombies. We're all disoriented, like it's a bad hangover. Although to be fair, I, I think bad hangover, a bad hangover would be a lot better than being disoriented from a car crash. Thankfully, I think we're all right. I think. Yeah, we're probably fine. We're the main hero. We got plot armor. As for the officer, well, he's, he's probably fine. We'll see him in a second, I'm sure. Oh, shit. Thirsty. Ah! Fuck! My leg! Alright, now it's a game of find the dot. Let's see, we got a shotgun. Sure, that's not foreshadowing for anything. We got... Hey, it's a police officer, hey. our new best friend! Hey, officer! Are you alright? I'm still cuffed back here! Aw, oh, but he's being a jerk. He's not listening to us. So what if he's lying lifeless and there's a trail of blood linked to his body? <laughs> Whatever, we're just gonna kick this window open, yo! Kick it in the pain! Kick it in the window pane! Just kick it open, yo! We're men! Okay, we're just gonna move towards the window, and we're just gonna to look at it, you know, check out the window. details, you know, drag myself out of that window. Okay, I'm just gonna flop clumsily out of this window as much as possible, because we're, you know, we're disoriented. We're freaking in the middle of nowhere off the side of the road in a car crash. Can't tell me you wouldn't be a little clumsy. I'd like to see you try to survive a car crash like that and be perfectly fine. You wouldn't, because your leg would be cut open and you have to slowly drag yourself, trying to act as, you know, capable as possible. There's a shotgun. Not even gonna take it. We don't need it. We need to get these handcuffs off. And we're Officer. thirsty. We need to find a source of water, man, and bend our leg up. But, you know, first off, get these handcuffs off of us, because, you know, this is gonna... This is gonna be a bad situation if we don't take that. So, take those keys. You gotta take care of this, man. We gotta unlock our cuffs, so you know I'm just gonna unlock them Shit. and drop the keys. So you know I gotta pick up the keys. I, I should mention I have played up to this part, so I'm not doing this quite blind, but we'll we'll be doing a lot of it blind, or rather I'm doing post commentary. We'll be doing. If it looks like I'm not sure what I'm doing, it probably is because when I was recording this, don't know what I'm doing. But fortunately, you know, unlocking cuffs, that, that's pretty straightforward. Oh, hey, our best buddy, I told you he was alright. So what if he's growling at us and he's looks like he's going to kill us, you know? It's, we just, uh, we just need to, you know, find a way to, to defend ourselves. Maybe I can take a lighter and, you know, ignite this shotgun shell. Maybe we got a lighter. I guess we could use this shotgun. What? I guess that's the easy way, you know, it's not like we have to improvise trying to ignite the shotgun shell, but whatever. Just clumsily, like, throw it on the ground and then put it back in the gun and then all of a sudden, it's time to aim, we gotta do some horror survival techniques, we gotta survive! Shoot him in the hood! You know, that, because that's the cure to zombies, you know, it's like, now he's gonna act normal, he's gonna be perfectly normal. As if, you know, a human got shot in the head. You know, he's... But, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure he's fine, you know, his skin's all raw, you know, typical zombie behavior, you know. Doesn't smell too pleasant. I don't think he's dead, though, you know, maybe, maybe we should, like, stomp him in the nuts, just to be sure, you know, maybe, maybe that's what we should do. Also, find the dot! It's gonna be the common theme of this game. Go get someone! There's been a shooting! Yeah, when I first played, didn't realize there was someone right there.
Quite the predicament. We gotta run from zombies with the busted up leg. This is. <laughs> oh man. If we weren't the main character, we would be dead by now. You gotta admit that much. But since we're the main character, you know, we, we kinda live. We kinda live. I'm not controlling this. I, I would have thought I would be, but no. They're just like, we're not gonna let you deal with this right now. Maybe later in the game. Probably later. Right now we're we're just we're just running to this open fence. Cause this guy this guy is like freaking amazing. He's like Marine Black Ops capable of doing anything, because he's the main character. And as we all know, main characters are physically fit at the peak of their physical prime. Have all the potential in the world. We survive. All these zombies, yeah. They hurt something. So they're they're not even gonna bother with us. They're just gonna be like oh. Whoa, and they just wander off. As for us, we're safe. We got we gotta figure out how we can like fix our our two situations: bust up Hello? leg and and our first. Anyways, we gotta find. S Maybe there's someone here. I don't know. We gotta find them if we can. I'm getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. Okay, looks like he don't want to go up in the treehouse, but maybe we can talk to it. Maybe there's someone in there. Anybody up there? Um, uh, maybe not. All right, let's see. We got a tea set. Fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Oh, dude. Help! Listen, getting drunk during a zombie apocalypse is not advised, cause you're probably going to die. Probably. Hey, water! Maybe we can drink it! Oh, I, was, I was thinking, like, maybe you're thirsty, you could drink it, all of a sudden you'd be a lot better. But it probably has chlorine and all that crap in it, so maybe it's not advised. There's a watering hose, can't use it to fill our thirst. At least that's not from tap, I think. Nope, we're just, we're just gonna try to open the sliding glass door. Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. Dude, you should just you should just kick it open. I mean, it's, it's just a glass door. I'm just gonna go in. Oh, you're just gonna go in. Tell me he kicks it, man. It's not gonna take any tolerance from glass. Oh, coming in. Just slide it open because it's Don't not shoot, okay? This is kind of boring. I was hoping it was just gonna bust it in the pain. Just walk ah. on through. Hello. I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. All right, we got a situation. We got fruits. We gotta go examine that fruit. Maybe we're hungry. It's Damn. That sucks. Oh man, we got a coloring book. My Little Pony. Look at all the sparkly stuff. Is that is that one of the My Little Pony characters? Got a pool of blood. Oh, Jesus. That doesn't look good. <laughs> Who knew blood was so slippery? Maybe it's fresh. But if it's blood. And it's fresh, and you have a cut. Does that mean you're infected now? Are you gonna turn into one of them? Hmm. Marshals. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Very observant. Very observant. Right, I like this guy. It just. Finds something, picks it up, and puts it in his pocket. It's like he doesn't have any regard for anyone else. I guess we gotta this loot this place. Ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is Except gone. anything worthwhile has already been looted. Great. Well, maybe we should take a fork, you know? Maybe if we run into them, we can just fork them to death. Oh, a cup of water. I'm willing to bet this solves his thirst. What happens if we don't take that? <sighs> Do we do we just die from dehydration or like pass out and then get eaten or something? I don't care. We gotta survive, man. We're thirsty. We gotta we gotta take a drink. 
We got a messaging machine, I think. That's Furniture what that beeping is. But I don't want to go to the messaging Jesus. machine. Maybe there's some other stuff we can pick up, you know, because I, like, I'm a scavenger, man. I got to take anything I can to survive. I got to increase my chances. It's the only way so I feel safe. Three new messages. What the hell? And they were talking at the same time. Can't listen to that again. Great. God, that kid lived here. Oh man, I hope the kid's okay. Oh God, TV, that's not working. Oh, Probably cables out. out. Oh well, m imagine that. <laughs> All right, well I guess we got nothing else to do but listen to the messaging machine. I mean, what else can we examine, right? Maybe there's right? something on there. 